Here's the final video of the quad quap walk around. This is about as complete as, as it's going to get before the deadline. Most of the hardware is there, so I'm um, just going to go through it all. Got the ping sensor for detecting collisions up front. You can see the wiring goes around to the sensor array. You got another ping sensor there. Back here we have the OLED inside the, the head there. Um, it reads out the GPS and the heading information. It's so like when I rotate this, you'll see uh, the heading changes there. No distance traveled. Up under the head here, we have a mess. But that's okay. Let's see the wiring for the OLED. We have a Turin G3, or sorry, 2S life pack powering everything through a Turin G. Um, BEC, which is just a linear regulator. We have the Raspberry Pi 2. I posted a picture of that earlier. Yeah, that is the Pi 2. We got the Chip Kit Pi sitting on top of that. We have the Y Pi. Here we have the magnetometer for detecting directions. I tried to use the extrinsic sensor and didn't have much luck, but I'm still working on that. Here we have the Hobby King flight controller. And I have a previous video explains on how the, all that works as well as the code. All these connections, you can see the receiver is going into the chip kit pie as well as the flight controller also goes into the chip kit pie here via this ribbon cable. So that's the control switch that I've talked about. You can hear the uh, head turning around down here at the bottom. Um, the head is controlled by the chip kit pie and it um, just has a simple algorithm for moving the head around. Um, I do plan on making more changes on, on that for now, but basically it's going back and forth and it has some random elements that allow it to move at different speeds, as well as stop at random places and then go different directions. And I posted a picture earlier, but inside here, um, you can see the chip, or the, the Raspberry Pi B Plus it's mounted inside the head and it spins with the head. Um, it's actually not powered at this second, but I have a dongle that I can power it from the same setup. We also have the Raspberry um, Pi cam inside the eye. Let me get a picture of the eye here. So we'll see if we can get that. You can see a hole right there. That is the Raspberry Pi cam. And then that hole right there, the second hole, that is the flame sensor. So all of that's hooked up to the, um, well the, the camera's hooked up to the Raspberry Pi B Plus and the flame sensor is hooked up to an Arduino which is also in there which is the sensor array. Sensor array is wired through I2C. All of this is wired through I2C actually. There's a little bus down there. You can see all the different plugs on that little board. That's how I connect all the various I2C devices together as well as shared all the plus and minus voltages and ground. So we'll see what else I'm forgetting. Well, that's what we got going on. Oh, got the GPS up here. This is the MicroStack GPS. You can see it flashing, updating. That wiring goes up underneath. So I'm gonna go get a couple more flights on this and test some more auto flight mode capabilities and be posting my code and making my final presentation. Thank you.